Taxi holding for an Alpha 8, runway 10 on the right, and uh, just taking the PRB. Alpha 8, 10 on the right, and 1 PRB. Is that your cross from yesterday? I believe so. Yes, just here, thanks. That's holding point Alpha 8. Okay, yeah, holding point Alpha 8, 10 on the right. Uniform Jersey, Escort 7216. 7216, Uniform Jersey. It's a pretty solid cloud layer, that. Yeah, it really is. Fox Bad 8517, ready in the bay for circuits. Last stage calling, say again. Foxbat 8517, ready in the bay for circuits. Fox A517, hold position. Hold position, Foxbat 8517. In the center, taxi to holding point Bravo 5, runway 10 on left. Taxi to holding point Bravo 5, runway 2 on left, in the center of Omer. Foxbat 8517. Must have forgot something. Good morning, proceed on Echo. Fox A517, taxi to holding point Bravo 5, runway 10 on left. Taxi Bravo 5, runway 10 on left, Fox A517. Grand uniform, uniform, west taxi back to the runner phase, we'll check. Fox A517, taxi to holding point Bravo 5, runway 10 on left. Thanks down tower, Robin India, Sierra November is ready at holding point Bravo 5, runway 29 left for uh, circuits. Sierra hey, November tower, hold position. Hold position, in the Sierra November. Yeah, good morning, Uniform Juliet Sierra, ready, Alpha 8, up on departure. Uniform Juliet Sierra, Banks Down Tower, good day, runway right, clear for takeoff. Uniform Juliet Sierra. Hey, good day, Banks Down Tower, helicopter, whiskey, ink, uniform, silver water, 1500, inbound with Bravo. Whiskey, uniform, Banks Down Tower, report, choppers north. Thank you, Uniform. Thanks, down tower, Tango Zulu X ray, downwind, touch and go. Tango Zulu X ray. This is low, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, Hunter's here. He's supposed to be that high at the first hold. Okay. That approved. Maybe that's what I was doing yesterday. India Sierra November, yep. on my left, line up. Room my left, right line up, India Sierra November. Cherokee up, wind runway left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway left, India, Sierra November. Good day, Delta Alpha, 7500, inbound at 9.50. Visual Questing Center. Delta Alpha, Alpha Tower, good day, expect that. Join downwind 29 on the right, maintain 1500, visual. Wind 29 on the right, 1500, visual, Delta Alpha, that. No speed. Temperatures and pressures. Missing inform, join and report base. Uniform Jersey, I run my right, clear for takeoff. Jersey. Tango Zulu X ray, change of sequence, follow the Robin early up, means run my left, clear touch and go. Tango Zulu X ray, change of sequence, follow the Robin early up, wind run my left, clear touch and go. Up, power is full, Tango Zulu X ray, run my left, clear touch and go. my traffic, which I saw a moment ago. Is that somebody, oh there they are, they've gone very wide. Do 
I want to extend all the way till they're a beam or just turn now? Turn now. All right. Thanks for the work, Shelby, going around. Thanks for the work, Shelby. Thanks, Dan Tower, Foxhead 8517 at holding point Bravo 5, runway 29 left, ready for circuits. Fox 8517, Tower, follow the sister in the go around, runway left, clear for takeoff. Jump excited, runway left, clear for takeoff, Fox 8517. Uniform with some pad, clear to land. Clear to land, Yankee uniform. City with your Yankee, downwind, touch and go. Sure, Yankee, city. Phoenix, November, downwind, touch and go. Phoenix, November. Brakes are fresh, around the carriage is fixed, mixture is rich, fuel pump is on, fuel selection is on, pressure and contents, one in light canopy, a little bit close. Alpha clear visual approach, 29 is centered. I feel like there's a crosswind coming this from this direction. Well, it seems relatively strong, am I right? You're right. Yeah. I'm not correcting enough. Feels like we're flying sideways. Well, yeah, because it's so slow. Yeah. So I want to give it a cord and a half, at least. Yeah. Where's your traffic? Uh, traffic's there. And railway line, we have not come near yet. Down there. All right, I think I'm going to turn now. Yankee, follow the Fox Pad on upwind or on my left, clear touch and go. Traffic started, clear touch and go, on my left, Juliet Whiskey Yankee. Don't forget the crosswind. Yeah, so the crosswind is pushing me this way, which means I need to slow down earlier. Delta Alpha Alpha, wind variable 5 knots, on my center, clear land. Delta Alpha Alpha. Turn a bit earlier. Yeah. yeah. This center. Perfect. Tango Zulu X ray, damn wind touching her. Tango Zulu X ray. Yeah. Touch Clear touch and go around my left, India Sierra November. Wide again up there, I think. Flaps are up, power is full, fuel pump is on. Uh -oh. Temperatures and pressures look good. Tango Zulu X ray, runway left, clear touch and go. Runway left, clear touch and go, Tango Zulu X ray. Turn at 700.
Bank Sound Tower, Techno 1580, ready holding point Bravo 5, runway 29 left for takeoff. For second, sorry. Techno 1580, hold position. Holding position, Techno 1580. What are they doing? Well, you were closed last time, so yeah, be patient. You reckon they should go super slow? No, Maybe. I'm just saying, don't turn as early as you did last time. Oh, I, I was too close to the icy. Okay, sorry. Bill, stop in a minute. Yeah, that's looking good now. It's hard to tell so far out, or at least I'm not used to the perspective. Juliet Whiskey Yankee, down wind, touch and go. Juliet Whiskey Yankee. India Sierra November, down wind, touch and go. India Sierra November. Foxwood 8517, runway left, clear, touch and go. Runway left, clear, touch and go, Foxwood 8517. Brakes have pressure, undercarriage is fixed, mixture is rich, fuel bump is on, fuel selection is on, pressure and contents, warning light, canopy, harness. Okay, wings level. That's, that's better. That's good. Looks yeah, bring yeah. it back about five degrees. We're yeah. a bit too much because we're starting to actually go wide. So turn left five degrees. Yeah. You don't want to go too far out by the same token. Yeah, sure. I overdid it. Alright, the traffic is way out there. Even though he's um, out there, he's actually quite fast. Okay, so he's keeping his speed. Yeah, I noticed he's, he's getting away from me faster than I expected. Follow the tech now, upwind runway left, cleared for takeoff. Runway left, clear to takeoff, uniform number, uniform. Uniform, no, uniform, no delay, please. Uniform, no delay, please. Yankee, follow the diamond up, wind runway right, left, clear touch and go. Runway right, left, touch and go, Julie Whiskey Yankee. Tango Zulu X-ray, downwind, touch and go. Tango Zulu X-ray. I overshot that. Cherokee on upwind, runway left, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway left, India Sierra November. Bit of a crosswind here, eh? Yeah. Fox 8517, down, touch and go. Fox 8517. And 1580, just confirm you still following the Fox bat, looks like you're gaining on him and you're inside of him. Ah, uh, yeah, I got a fox out of the fox lane, so it's in position 80. Tango to the X-ray, runway left, clear touch and go. Runway left, clear touch and go, Tango to the X-ray. Flaps are up. <laughs> Oh, it's full. Fuel pump is on. Temperature suppressions are green. Now we can touch the earth through a pump button. Take now 1580. Oxway 
5.17, just check your altitude, looks, your, looks like you're high and we're showing 1,200 on the uh, T-set. Right. Fox 5.17, Downwind, touch and go. Two with Yankee. Fix the pressure. Sorry. Under carriage is fixed. Mixture is rich, fuel pump is on, fuel selection is on. Pressure and contents. Point light. 17, due to a trigger from my center, go around, continue to follow the Cessna right wing. Runway left, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, runway 29 left, tech now 1580. Traffic. Damn. Yeah. Way out there. Thanks, Town Tower. Fox at 8796 at holding point Bravo 5, runway 29 on left. Uh, ready for circuits. 8796, hold position. Hold position, Fox at 8796. That's about one and a half now. That's about two now. Oh, that's about two? Alright. Round we go. Yeah, about now reduce your power to yeah. 1500. I came off too early last time, but too late like, the time before. And, and trim it to hold 85 knots. Yep. Square it up so that you've got a good perspective, so you don't okay, overshoot. Thank you, on my left, clear touch and go. That's it, stop your turn. Clear touch and go, right we're left. parallel now. Yep. And again, we're going to turn early because of the overshoot tendency, so we'll go about two chords as well. So okay. about now, start your turn. Yep. 600 feet. And feather it out onto the centre lines. So I use a bit less bank angle. That's it. You can adjust it. There you go. Thank you, Zulu X-ray, downwind, touch and go. Good. Okay, stop the Yep, there's the crosswind, so we're only going to use 10 degrees of flap this time. Alright. Crosswind's getting stronger. Yep. We're doing a full stop too. Yep. Alright, kick it straight, it's a bit more right butter. Fox and a little bit left wing down. That's it. Hold it like that. Here's here in November, on my left, clear to land. Clear to land, run my left, and here's here in November. Fox 8796, runway left, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway left, Fox 8796. Okay, start the brakes smoothly. Fox 
Uh, thanks on ground, Roman India here in November is uh, clear of runway left. Request taxi parking at November. Hey, sir, we're ground taxi, Bravo and Alpha. Taxi Bravo and Alpha, India Sierra November. Taking over. Notice the difference between yesterday and today? Your approach angles were correct. Yeah, much Even higher, much higher today. You had a <laughs> massive crosswind at height. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's just a perspective. Yesterday you're doing right hand patterns. Yeah. I'm familiar. Yep. Left hand patterns today, yep. which you're familiar with. Sure. So but those those same rules apply. When you're on base, you've got to be mindful. And I watched you a couple of times. We were starting to get low, but then you intercepted at 600 yep. and you held it. I've been watching for 600 when you start when I start the turn, yeah. And you notice how much higher that approach angle was? Yes, on much, all three? much, much higher than yesterday, yeah. yeah. And so that was right. Okay, so I got I got the idea that, that uh, it should be lower than it, than, than it should be, yeah. Okay. It's easier to suck yourself in because if you're... If you're constantly just doing it based upon what you're looking at, you, but you've got to relate it to that yep. as well. That's really helpful, the 600. I, I know you've told me that like five times, but <laughs> I, I think I absorbed it this time. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's the thing. Today, the crosswind was increasing. Yeah. Put this way, if the crosswind wasn't increasing, I would have stepped out. Okay, that's good. But that's it's good just, enough. there's too much there, and if all of a sudden when I get out, that 25 <laughs> to 30 yeah. knots, which is at height, yeah. starts up, then you'll be overwhelmed, so yeah, I don't right. want to do that. Okay. But you're ready. Okay. Okay. That okay. proved to me that you're ready. That's good to know. Thank okay. you. There's, n there's not much crosswind here, but there is on the approach. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this wind sock is not really valid because of the building. Yeah. But you need you to put it somewhere else. Yeah. It's hard for me to see from, from a, especially on the approach from over there. I, I need to get more familiar with where yeah, it is. Around, yeah. uh, Alpha Charlie Tango IFR for Walgut. But you can see Bravo, on your first circuit, I let you go, and I, I could feel the wind as yep. we turned into it. Our ground speed just dropped yep. dramatically. Yep. Yep. And uh, when that happens, especially when you're slower, because yep. when you're slower, you're you're getting pushed more. Yep. Yeah, the drift is much greater. Yep. I, I did identify and correct for it. Maybe I hadn't corrected quite as quite as, as much as I should have. On your initial one, you did, because you saw us overlap. And I said, "How's the overlap?" And you go, "Oh, yeah, right." <laughs> okay, so yeah. Be careful because you've got a wind yeah, gradient. Enjoy the ground yeah. from Bravo to Lombard. Sometimes you won't have the wind to ground level, but at four or five hundred feet, then it starts. Okay. So, well, I, I felt I felt good because on the very first one, I I knew the wind was there, and I was trying to correct. But I think I didn't I didn't do it enough. But um, that was the first time that I like immediately could feel the wind was there and was paying attention to it. Sometimes you get an inverse gradient where there's no wind at height, but there's a massive crosswind down okay. below. <laughs> yeah, also a problem. That, that really fools you when you, you do the circuit, it's nice and square, no wind, and then you turn on the final, all of a sudden the airplane goes... <laughs> <laughs> so you get that from time to time. But either way, uh, the you thing, uh, when you're taking off and you've got a you known crosswind, Increase this by five knots. 65 for rotate, okay. Again, in case of critical gust, always think about yeah. that. Okay. The, uh, the idea being, if you come off at 60, all of a sudden maybe you get, you, you have more momentum at 65, better climb rate. Yeah, you have more speed. Yep. Uh, so if you oh, get, so stalling. If stalling. you get wind shear, yeah. you've got more safety above Okay, it. Uh, meaning uh, if you have to maneuver, you won't, you have less likelihood of stalling. Is that right? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. But it just means that you'll have more authority when you take off. Yep. The aircraft won't yeah, pirouette I sideways. That, on that last one, I pirouetted quite a bit. Um, it's, I, I think I went at 60. Okay. I, I did worry, like, I feel like I'm landing pretty far into the runway. We had tailwind component. Oh, uh, is that why? Okay. It, so, it felt like I was running out of runway for the takeoff. Yeah, because that southerly was also about 150. Okay. So we had some slight tail. Okay, component. and so that's why I was landing so far in. That wasn't like I was doing the technique wrong. It no, was, no. Okay. You had 75 knots at threshold. All right, good. But our ground speed wasn't 75, it was probably 90. Okay. It really felt like we were landing fast. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, it's the wind versus ground speed, of course. Yeah. For every knot of tailwind, it's an extra 15% of yep. ground roll. Yep, that makes sense. But it just the, the feeling of the runway rushing past felt very, very fast today. Yeah. The 90 knots, that's like 170 kilometers per hour or something like that. Yeah. Wow.
Oh, the dragon's almost full. Bit of water. Yeah. Oh, is it pooled up underneath there? Never, it amazes me how many times you come back this way and these guys can see you coming up yeah, and they, they don't, don't move over. over yeah. they're, just, they're flying around with their head up their ass. <laughs> <laughs> Someday I'll get a calm day. Sound ground, Alpha Charlie Tango, ready in the run up bay. Alpha Charlie Tango, and to hold this, still waiting on clearance from Sydney, hoping not to run contact. Alpha Charlie Tango. The main thing is, you're at the standard when you should be, so, okay, that's that's a good thing. And when it time, comes time to do crosswinds in a syllabus, I've got a lot of practice. Oh, you'll find it easy. <laughs> you'll find it easy, because half the stuff that you did today is crosswind technique. Yeah. I have a question on that, I think on the last approach, you were telling me to uh, kick it with the right rudder, but it felt like it was left rudder that I needed. Did you misspeak, or? No, the aircraft weather cocks into wind. We had to kick it to the... We okay. have to kick it to the right to line it up. Maybe I was already using left and I just needed to use less? I I don't know. I, I have to watch that in the video because it felt like we were already uh, aiming this way. So it should be left rudder to, to center it up, right? If we're aiming this way? No, no. We'll, we were pointing towards the left. We were? Okay. All right. Alpha Chai Tango. Clearance available. Alpha Chai Tango. Go ahead. We want to mess with it. Alpha Chai Tango. Clear to Walgood via Richmond fly planned route. Bankstown 8 departure. Climb via the SID to 3000. Squawk 1243. Alpha Chai Tango. Clear to Walgood via Richmond fly planned route. Bankstown 8 departure. Climb via the SID 3000. And the Squawk 1243. Alpha Chai Tango. Thanks. You can taxi now Alpha 8. Hold short. Turn on right and connect out. Taxi Alpha 8, hold short, 2-9 right, Alpha Giant Tank. Thanks, Tank Ground, I've got a Rescue 2 Alright, handing over. Rescue 2 0 on, taxi to park. Sure. Looks like Pete didn't get out at all. He was taxiing out, then he... Yeah, he turned around. around. I heard him, yeah. wonder what happened. They probably said there was too many aircraft, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> was, he, was he meant to do circuits? Yeah. Okay. We took his spot. Now, um, with the guy ahead of me, what, what was he flying? Was it a Cherokee? No, uh, that was quicker. That was more like a Comanche or something like okay. that. I think it had retractable gear. That's why it sped away from us. Oh, okay. All right. So the profile drag is lower. Is that? Yeah. Um, should I have been going fast speed? I think in the end, our uh, separation before landing was about right. So because he was going so wide, I don't think I could do fast speed. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, yeah. Now the, the slow speed Charlie with standard ten degree flap. Yeah. Yeah. Way that, way that seemed that seemed like it was. Driver. Giving a good outcome in the end. Just remember, if you go full flap, on base, you're going to have to use more power to maintain your profile. Yeah, that's right. If you get down, you'll get low. That, that makes sense. Uh, the, the time I did that, I thought you were asking me to. I misunderstood what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was wide, but he was fast, which yeah. sort of cancels it out. Still not great for glide performance, uh, unless he has good glide performance, right? He's, he hasn't got that good of glide performance. I'm sorry? He hasn't got that good of glide performance. Yeah, okay. So if he lost his engine on base, there's no way he would have made it. Okay, run like. Yeah, not great then. Because he was much wider than the, uh, than the glide ratio. I see. So was I right to do upwind, extend upwind to about 700 feet? Yep. Okay. If you saw him, wide, be careful, don't go off the... Yeah, keep going straight, go yep. straight. Straight. Uh, about now, now start turn. swinging out. So we line up with that faded I, line. I see. Keep turning beyond that, so we can oh, push it back, yep. about back like that. Good morning, All right. with Juliet Victor with a flight plan amendment. Here's what you did ground, say again. Uniform Juliet Victor with a flight plan amendment. Uh, uniform Juliet Victor... Uh, sorry, Total 900 magnitude.
Munoz, check that cut.